Hey everybody, Dr. Eric Herman, Guru Chiropractor, back again for yet another video, because you guys are asking for more. I'm here with my patient, Olga. Hi, Olga, welcome back. Say hi to my fans out there. Hello. Okay, so look, I want to explain a, little, a few things. Olga came in, it's been about two or three, in August, so two or three months. She had a pretty severe stuff going on, right? Neck was bothering her, 10 out of 10 pain, and she had r radiculopathy going down her right arm, meaning right uh, pain shooting down, right? Um, and tingle. And it's been going on for a long time, and you had surgery, yes. and it got worse after the surgery, right? Also, you had low back pain, and that you reported me the first visit, also 10 out of 10, so ultra severe. So she was in bad shape, folks, right? So we evaluated it, made sure it was safe to treat after surgery, which it was. Some people are, some people aren't. I have to do the exam and review the history and the medical records to determine that. So we determined, I determined that it was safe, and you agreed, and we did a full body adjustment, and we did a ring dinger, and you did good, right? Yes. She did really good, folks. She came back in about a week, I believe, let me see. Yeah, and pain in the neck was slightly better, and some she noticed some improvement in the arm, but the lower back got really better quick, oh, right? Sick. It, it was like the pain good. cut in half after one treatment. So then you had a second treatment, and then you came back, and it was still doing better. And then what happened? You got busy in life, which it happens to people, folks. Things got in the way and you interrupted the, you know, the frequency that we were talking about doing, and six weeks went by with a lot of stress and a lot of work, extra work, yeah? Oh, yeah. So now, she's back in, and the pain is pretty much back to where it was when we first started, is that correct? That's correct. And I'm sorry that that's happening, and I feel for you, and I'm gonna do my very best, but we talked about it. You know, some people come in for the ring dinger and the, and the adjustments, and they get one adjustment and it, gets, it goes away like boom, and it doesn't come back and everybody thinks it's a miracle, but that's rare. It's very rare. Usually with a, a severe case, we have to work, you know, we have to do some visits and not only um, do we have to release, but we have to help your body rehab, rehab the body to be stronger in the new alignment so it can hold the better alignment with your daily activities and the stresses that you are occurring, right? Because, you know, it is, a, it is a good thing if we, you know, can release and get rid of the pain. But if five minutes later, as soon as you get active again, it comes right back, that's not really the best way to go. That's not really the best results. What's, what's a great result is freeing up the problem that's causing the pain and then getting your body stabilized so that it can hold that alignment not forever, nobody's gonna be perfect. There's, you know, you can't, don't expect that you're gonna be you know, Wonder Woman and you can endure any stress on the planet, but hold it for your normal, basically normal life so that it doesn't come back with normal stress and normal activities. That's the goal that I have for every patient, but it, that takes a little time. That takes repetition of visits over a period of time to retrain and rehab the body so it stays in better alignment. Right? So we had that conversation off camera, and we, I said I would say a little bit now on camera for the folks out there, just for a little education so you guys understand. So now you're back. Now we're going to do a little evaluation, and then we're going to get back to the treatment. Right? And we discussed that because doctors are saying they might want to do surgery again. Right? So to try our best to avoid that happening, possibly coming in a little more frequently for a period of time to see if you're going to stabilize. Yes. Not everybody stabilizes, folks. I'm just being completely honest. Some people have to go for the surgery. It's just, that's just life. It's just the, the truth. But a lot of people, though, that doctors say need surgery, come here and they comply with the treatment plan and they stay regular for a while and they're able to at least postpone surgery and a lot of times avoid it. So that's what I'm gonna try my very best to help you with if you stay consistent with your visits. <laughs> I can't promise if you only come once every six weeks. In the beginning, you're probably gonna to need to come weekly or every other week for a while until things get back and stabilized. So, all right, so let's get busy on today's visit. You ready? I'm ready. Go face down on, your, on the table, put your face down on the paper. I'm gonna do a little mini exam and we're gonna do 
we're going to do a great release and a great full body adjustment. The good news is I've seen this happen, this scenario happen many times before. You're not the first person that this happened to. And a lot of times when it showed good results in the beginning and then a gap happened and, and, and you had a flare up, the fact that you had good results for your first couple visits, as soon as you get back in here within a visit or two, things should start improving again very quickly. And that's what I'm expecting for you, okay? All right, so say enough talking, let's start doing. So your posture, the shoulders don't look too bad posture-wise, but the hips are off. You got a big high, high left, high right uh, hip, so it looks like it's pulled up this way and a little bit rotated, but mostly unleveled high on the right. If I look at your legs, yeah, it's about an inch pulled up. It's about an inch. I know the shirt's crooked, but still, it's doing this. Let's see. Let's see. See that? I'm pushing both at the same time, and I'm pulling both, and it still stays short. So that means very tight on this right side all through here, and it's pulling it up. Yeah, stress levels are back. A lot of tightness in your back. Bend up your knees. When I do this, is there pulling in your lower back? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is it middle or more on one side or one the other? Side, right, right. On the more on the right. Yeah, that makes sense. Because this is the tighter side. Yeah. When I even when I press. Okay. I know you know in this day and age where things are hectic, life is crazy. You got to work. You got to make a living. But you got you to make your, your healing a priority as well, if you want the results. That's, that's all. OK, let's see how well the sacroiliacs are moving. Start with the left leg. Keep it stiff. Lift as high as you can. OK, down and do the right side. Yeah, both sides barely go up. This side felt a little tighter, though, yeah. but both sides are pretty tight. Got positive knockless on both sides, positive gear field. Just a lot of tightness and compression. Major here. The compression here, I believe, is what's pinching the nerve, causing your symptoms down the arm, right? In the lower neck. Neurologically, the nerve comes out and feeds down to your fingertips. So we're going to decompress, decompress, and then we're going to realign everything with a full body. So. Here we go. You ready? I'm going to start stretching you, and then we're going to do a little massage. We're going to warm up some of those muscles. I know we talked about it in the beginning, about uh, magnesium and Epsom salts, right? Have you been doing any of that? Yes? No? Okay. Maybe can reevaluate that and reconsider get doing some magnesium, because that'll keep these muscles to stay looser than they are. It's not going to be a miracle cure, but it's going to help the tightness. It's going to help reduce the tightness. Just a little stretching out. Some people have to test it out for themselves, you know? And then do you re once you experience it, that now you know that I'm not full of shit. <laughs> that I'm telling you, you know, what's the truth that I've seen over the last 25 years of what needs to happen. And I get it too, you're coming in from Brooklyn, so that's like an hour drive, right? So I get it, it's, it's, it's not that easy to get to see me. I wish there was somebody a little closer for you guys, but.
just a little bit more here. Just a little bit of loosening up for you, that'll help. All right, so when you're ready, come on back up on your feet. Let's go into the ring dinger room. We're gonna do a lot of decompressing. Good. Good. Thank you, right? Yep, keep your hands up top. I gotta feel your hips, remember this one. Come down about an inch, right there. Yep, you're good. Okay, straighten you up, good. Let the table raise up your legs. Good or too tight? No, it's good. It's good, right? Yeah. You can put it more tight. This side. Well, how about that? That's good. You sure? Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, can I have your hands back behind? I just want to make sure there's no slack before I do the real pull. Good. Now, now relax down. I got a new towel since the last time you were here. Mm -hmm. Nice and fluffy for you. Nice and soft. Okay. Lift up your neck. Bend up. Bend up. And nope, that way. Yeah. Let me get your hair right away. Good. Come on down. Good. So, just a reminder. Teeth to touch together, but don't bite hard. Just keep them firmly touching. Chin down a little bit, good, and stay as relaxed as you can, but I will do everything else. You ready? Okay, give me five seconds. Okay, just get in the grip first. Okay, relax, relax, then boom. Breathe, breathe, breathe. There we are. Yeah. Yeah. It'll pass, I know. Woo! The moon will go back. Say again? Going to the moon and go back. <laughs> did you see my new video he did for me? He surprised me. He made a fight. That, you know that's him. On the, going to the moon. Yeah, go to the moon. The cameraman is, is I shot him to the moon with a ring dinger. Yeah. Oh, I was more like... Oh. Good? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because you you've had three or four, so this was a good one, right? Good. Yeah. Good. Oh. Stay there. I want to do a little more in your neck. When you feel ready, though. Yeah, you, yeah, a little, little bit. If you need a little time. Oh. No, no, no. I want you to do, I want you to do oh, your oh, neck before oh. you get up. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Yes. For that? yes okay. Yeah. Let me. It's e it's better if I do it here. It just mm -hmm. releases better. Right. Right directly after. Pop. Right directly after. Good. Oh. Oh, you needed that. Lord have mercy. It's better. Okay. Life is coming back. Oh yeah. Thank you. But we're gonna do more over that way when you're ready. So when you're ready, mm -hmm. come on up. And if you need my help, I'm here. Oh, Want help? Good job. Take your time. Yeah. A lot of stars. Yeah, yeah. Back on your belly. But I see it in your face. You're already oh. doing better. I already see it. Oh. Okay, let's see what that did. The body remembers. Still got a little high hip. But I don't know, looks down here it looks like it's even, but it still looks a little distorted. A little bit like this and this. Remember what it felt like when I bent the first time? Tell me if it feels any different in the lower back. No. What? Nothing. Right now, nothing. It doesn't feel, it feels no better or it doesn't feel any problem? Any problem. Oh, very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. That means a lot of tension we just pulled out of there. Yeah. Good. Good. Even here. Okay, so now we're gonna do some drop down and we're gonna mm -hmm. really release even better. 
Stay loosey as a goosey. Still a little right there. Good. Okay. Good. Now we're looking pretty darn aligned. Posture wise, looks pretty, pretty balanced. So that's good. Let's see if the uh, sacroiliacs are moving a little better. Keep it stiff, lift as high as you can. Okay, down, looks like it went up better. Try to, the bad side. Okay, again, looks like it went up some better than before. You feel better yes. lifting? Good. We're gonna leave you there, it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. Can't do everything on one visit if you're really, really jacked up. Can't get it all done. Because over-treatment also is a factor. You can over-treat, mm -hmm. And I, I trust me, I've done it by accident, and the patient's not never happy. <laughs> they're they're very mad at me the next couple days because you get sore. So let's do a little releasing here too. Get that middle back back to uh, where it needs to be. Let it go. Good. Ah, good one. Relax. Good. Relax. There it goes. Oh, it's releasing. Oh, good. Re it's really letting go here. Oh, oh big, one. Yeah, big one. Big one. Let it go. Let it go. Good. Good. All right. Whoo, this flattened out very nicely. Yeah? You feel it? Yeah. Very good. Even the transition area is moving better. Okay. All right. I will bet money you're going to feel really good after this because it's really doing good. Now, let's do a little more release for your lower neck. Look up a little bit, a little bit more. Relax, a little higher up if you can. There you go. Ah, oh, there. Good release and not too hard, right? And this was the side you really needed it on anyway. All right, sorry about that first one. Good, all right, roll over on your back. Good. Let me have your hands back behind. Just gonna do a little stretch. Good. Yeah, it really released. You know, there's their body remembers. Good. Did you get a little more release? Yeah. In the lower? Yes, yeah, in the Good. Bring down towards me a little more. Okay. You okay popping toes? I forgot. Mm -hmm. Good. Pop, pop. Good. Now we're going to do a little tug at your ankle. That's also going to re possibly release the knee and maybe even more in the hip. Stay relaxed. Bingo. Ouch. Good release. Good. <laughs> Drop it and flop it. Bingo. Awesome. I mean, I'm just feeling the neck. I want to make sure there's nothing left that I can see. That right side. Good. Good. Yeah, it's moving a lot better. I'm going to leave you there. My hands want to do more, but my mind and my heart says stop right here, let your body heal, and then come back probably in about a week. Mm -hmm. Sit up when you're ready. I want to do, I'll do your shoulders and your arms and your fingers and your wrists. But for the spine, we're done. Okay. So as I'm feeling the tone of the muscles now compared to before, 
a lot softer. Do you feel looser? Good. Yes, more Good. Good. Let me bring this back behind. When you're ready, bend this one up. Mm -hmm. This one here. I gotta do the hug, remember? Mm -hmm. Stay relaxed. Relax. Good. Give me this side. Peace. Good. Coming around for the elbow. Trap. Nothing too bad. Crazy there. Good. There. A little bit there. Pull. Good. I can tell that your your nervous system let go because you're just you're you're, you're relaxed, right? You're floppy. Yeah. yeah, that happens when a good release happens. See, I talk about it a little bit. There's an adjustment, and then there's what's called a clear out. Clear out doesn't happen all the time. A clear out is like you clear out all the stress from the nervous system. You get like a real big reset. You get a, a euphoric release, and everybody's like, "Woo!" She's just got cleared out. You can even look in her eyes. That's a good thing. I hope you don't have to go work after this. <laughs> Better go home and rest. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Done today. It went very well. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. You, you did a good thing by coming back, and I think you're going to do well. But my best recommendation is you better try to come back. This room is the best. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wish that hopefully more doctors are going to come on board and start training on that so that people don't have to drive hours and hours to come. But for now, Really Come back. Yeah, so if you really want to be committed and try to stay away from that surgery, I would highly recommend come back next week really if you can make it happen. I highly recommend it. You need to go to this doctor. This is it's amazing. Thank you. You're you have very a golden, welcome. From you my have heart. a golden hand. Thank Good. you so much. Good. I'm happy you're back. Come back next week. We'll continue to do some more. We'll monitor how you're doing. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as we feel ready, both of us, we'll talk together. We'll decide together. As soon as you feel ready to try to stretch it, we'll stretch it and monitor. That's the only way to, way to tell whether you're stable, is we got to try it and see how your body handles it. If it handles it, then we keep you there for a little while, and then we stretch again, then we stretch again. I'm talking about frequency of visits, till you get to a point where you feel like you can handle it, you know, without me for a month or so, under normal circumstances in your life. Oh, I know I can. And then you come back for maintenance. Without you one month, I can <laughs> Can't live without me. Don't make your husband jealous, but listen, if you come back and we you know, we follow that plan, I have high hope for, hopes for you, right? And I will do my very best. So, anything last minute you want to say or you want to have questions you, or anything? Just thank you so much. My, from my heart, you're welcome. Okay. This is the Guru Chiropractor signing off. Olga's going to be doing great again. She's bouncing right back. If you need some of this, if you're suffering out there, from my heart, I want to help you. I've dedicated my whole life to this. So if you come through, I'll do my very best for you, and hopefully you'll get the results like she's got right now. Um, if you want to find me, reach out to retrochiropractic.com. Um, all my information is there. There's a book now link where you can put your information in, and my assistant, Zachary, will text you back. We do text only, and it'll help you out with any questions you might have or and to get an appointment to come see me. I love and appreciate everybody for being fans. Stay aligned and stay healthy. Peace out. Love.